Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. 2018 Topps Allen & Ginter Baseball Random Tea Break number four from a fresh case coming at you. And Jordan Hope saying happy three-year anniversary. He says Ginter was his first break three years ago with jazbeeshobbyland.com. Still hanging around. Thanks, Jordan. Appreciate it. All right. So big thanks to these folks right in Jordan's and this one too. Now one spot gets you two teams in a four-box break. Now remember, we combo the, the Tigers and the Rays, and then there's also that other spot right here, the non-sport or non-baseball or just any other spot, maybe maybe a dinosaur tooth. It's possible. All right, let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list five and a three, eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Five and a three, eight times. So after eight times, we've got Patrick K down to Kaz Mo. And then five and a three, eight times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight times, we've got the Nats on top and the Rangers on the bottom. So here's how it all shakes out. Patrick with the Nats. Will, you got the Twins. Jeremy Merle with the Yankees. Anthony with the Reds. Jeremy, you got the Padres. Loden, you got the Brew Crew. Jordan with the o the O's, Oars, Orioles, the Oars. Sen, Sen Yin with the Tigers and Rays. Bulldog Fan with the Astros. Cosmo with the Braves. And Nick Leslie, you got the Toronto Blue Jays. Sen Yin with the White Sox. Jordan, you also have the Phillies. Jeremy with the, this is a great spot, that other spot. Non-sport, non-baseball, and other spot. Loden with the Cardinals. Jordan with the Indians. Patrick Kay with the Diamondbacks. Jeremy Merle with the Mariners. Jordan with the A's. Jeremy with the Rockies. Allen with the Giants. Dan uh, with one of your last spot mojo spots, the Cubbies. And the other spot, some Dodger Joe mojo, Dodgers. Jeremy with the Marlins. Patrick Kay with the Royals. Anthony with the Red Sox. Pirates for Nicholas. Allen with the Mets. Patrick Kay with the Angels. And Cosmo with the Rangers. So let's sort by column B. Any trades? While you're considering trades, let's pop open this fresh case right here. And then let's see which four boxes we're going to do. So four boxes is a, is a third of the case. So you see four, four, and four right here. We're going to roll the die. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to do the far right side. And then this we will reserve for the next random team break. So I'll just mark these RT. hard to write at this angle. All right, there you go. So all these boxes marked RT, so you know they're random team breaks. So let's set these boxes over here. And I'm sure we can knock out another one of these tonight if you wanted to. And these will be the four boxes we're gonna do for this break. Clemson Cards asking, are the Brewers or the Cardinals any good? Well, Loden, if they hit, they're good. How about that? All right, looks like no trades. Phillies, O's, A's, or Indians up trade for the Mariners. I'm not sure if Jeremy Merle is here at the moment. All right. No, maybe. Yes, no. All right, we're going to have to close up that trade window. And
and let's print this guy out and we'll see what we got folks good luck looking for these guys right here this stuff And we'll do all the box hoppers all at once. We'll set them aside right there. <coughs> all right, so here is the official printout. Nice new toner as well, ladies and gentlemen. Very excited about that. Let's get our little paper stand here. All right, good luck, everyone. We did, uh, I think we did, we did a, yeah, we did a case of this last night. Three, four boxes at a time. We saw some pretty nice stuff in there, ladies and gentlemen. So hopefully we'll keep it going tonight with the random teams. We also have um, pick your teams as well. Half case pick your teams are available on jazbeeshobbyland.com. So check that out. Definitely love the uh, the quirkiness of this set. It's an acquired taste, but I think a lot of people like it. Do I rip the cards that have minis in them? That's not up to me. That's up to the, the person who gets that card. There's usually more value in uh, not ripping the rip card. Some people want to. Some people do. Some people don't. Up to them. I personally would rather not. Rather just have it shipped to you, and then, you know, you can make that decision. All right. Here we go. Good luck, everyone. We're going to look at, save the those uh, minis and look on the backs of those to see if any of those are numbered. Our moon is just moon. Doesn't have a fancy name. And the first hit is Jim Tomei. Jim Tomei relic. Indians edition. Going to Jordan. There you go, Jordan. Happy anniversary. saying what if I what if I ripped it and there was a mini panini points card in there well then tops would have a lot of explaining to do And the, auto, the mini autograph is Chance Cisco. That goes to that goes to Jordan Hope and the Orioles. 
Happy anniversary, Jordan. That's no moon. We'll save one of these Otanis. They look nice. <laughs> Kip's like, the Orioles hit a lot. Too bad not in reality. Curtis is saying, I think Tony Hawk and Method Man are redemptions. The M-E-T-H-O-D. Pedroia, laser show relic, going to the Red Sox. Anthony with that one. Manny Machado, that's an Oriole. There's some sort of game on the back. Now they go to the O's. All right, let's see if we got... Any numbered minis? Was that a numbered mini? I'm just psyching myself out now. There's one right there. Two out of 25. Ernie Banks, let's play two. Nice one for the Cubs. Dan Maddox, last spot mojo. Very cool. Yeah, Curtis, Dustin Pedroia, laser show. Does anyone know that reference? <laughs> Gabe's saying the, the minis kind of stress you out. Why do they stress you out? Stavros asking, what are those rip cards you were talking about? Um, I should have posted a picture of one of those from last night, but it's basically a card that's about maybe maybe about that thick. Maybe about that thick. And a lot of times, they have a mini card inside, but it's covered, right? So then there's like a little tab here, and you can tear the tab, and you can open that thing up, and there'll be, ta-da, a thing inside. But you don't know what that thing's going to be. It could be a one-of-one -one sketch card. It could be a short printed mini card. It could be an autograph. So it's a special. Who's into the cryptocurrency? I've been trying to get into that on a very small scale. <laughs> Games like cards are already small. Why do they have to be smaller? It's like cupcakes and regular cakes. Gabe just wants cakes. Just give me a just give me a GD cake. Who needs a cupcake? You know? There's Corey's brother, Kyle Seeger. That's for the Mariners. That'll go to Jeremy Merle. Nichols Leslie loves cupcakes, Gilo. I, people are a fan of cupcakes. That might be the one that might be the mini thing that is that is pretty acceptable, I think, worldwide.
All right, yeah, mini cupcakes are ridiculous. Mini cupcakes are ridiculous. I like I like cake, cupcake. Cupcakes are great. I like the mini donut. Yeah, Curtis. Curtis is right. Mini donut's pretty good. What about what about mini me from Austin Powers? Mini me was pretty cool. Dead, I think. Right. Uh, I, don't, I might disagree on the mini pizza, Curtis. Give me a full-size pizza. Um, Nicholas Leslie is saying I use he's he is our uh, our Jaspie's Hobbyland chef in residence, right there. Our head chef it says uh, I use mini cupcakes for parties. Good for a dessert slash Venetian table. Exactly. Jordan Hope likes the 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 whole part of the donut holes. The the donut holes. In Canada, you call those timbits. Alan likes mini skirts. I would agree with you on that, Alan. Sure, skirts are nice. Nothing wrong with a nothing wrong with a nice skirt. A mini skirt. He's our head chef, Stavros. You want to be Sue? Executive chef. And there's Michael Conforto, piece of his bat. That goes to the Mets. It's right near us, just north of us. That looks like a really hot pepper. I'm going to avoid peppers like that. Don't look at these, folks. You'll burn out your eyes. And then we've got autograph of Tom Segura. That goes to the other spot. That'll be for Jeremy Merle. <laughs> Rex is wondering why everyone's afraid of these Allen and Ginter pick your teams. Yeah, we do have those available. JaspiesHobbyland.com. Those are half case pick your teams. The random teams are only four boxes. The pick your teams are six boxes. All right, let's see if the backs of these have anything. No, not on that one. Box, good luck. And Nick Leslie telling me that Optic is full. So Optic will be happening after this. Thanks, everybody. Now, after this is done in the next 20 minutes or so, 15, 20 minutes, Optic will be another hour. Oh, hockey filled too? Well, which one filled first, you guys? I'll have to go through orders then to see which filled first. Maybe I'll do hockey before the Optic, just... 
Just because it's quick. I'll make that. Maybe I'll make that executive decision. Oh, well, hockey filled first anyway, says Rich. All right, so we got a quick, like, 10-minute hockey break. And then we'll do the hour optic. And then after that, what time is it right now? It's just turned 626 on the West Coast. So let's say we finish this by about the 45-minute mark. 10 minutes, let's say we 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock. So I would say around 8 o'clock Pacific, 11 o'clock Eastern is when we'll be ready for the next break. And then we'll, from that point, we'll have a few hours left in the broadcast. Maybe Spectra 2, says James. Spectra would be nice. A little Spectra basketball. Um, that's almost in single digits. Rex says, hold Optic and Hockey hostage until all the Allen and Ginter pick your teams, Phil. Ah, we don't do that. No hostage taking, Rex. Not about that. Just fill it. That's what I say. You want to see it? Fill it. Buy an extra team. If you have two teams, buy three. Three teams, buy a fourth. Have four teams, buy that fifth team. Jordan says, I've held breaks hostage before. Not anymore, Jordan. Not anymore. This time, I've changed my ways. I decided, why, why hold fun hostage? Don't want to do that. First to fill, first to break. Change my ways. People can change, Jordan. All right, Javier, but Jordan's like, you did that last week, bro. People can change. Bay of Angels? More like probably Bay of Sharks. Angels. Probably sharks in there. Right. Yeah, Trump changed his mind the other day. People can change their minds, folks. It's okay. Nothing wrong with that. You just get some more information. You change change your opinion. It happens. Then we've got Scribner. This is definitely what Patrick K wanted with the Angels. Right? Who else is on the Angels? You wanted this guy. You want a Troy Scribner mini autograph for the Angels. Um, I the uh, the Megalodon movie, Rich. I kind of do want to see it. I'm sure. I, I feel like I could wait. I feel like I can wait until it hits DVD, right? <laughs> I don't have to rush to the theater for that one. My favorite Canadian tennis player, Jeannie Bouchard. And there's Wilson Contreras. Yeah, I haven't even seen Solo yet, you guys. Can you believe that? I'm just, at this point, I'm just waiting. Where's the DVD? When's that Blu-ray coming out? The digital video disc? When's that coming out? There's Brian Dozier for the Twins. She's easy on the eyes, too. K-1 
Cameron Mabin, and South Beach. I don't know why that was turned around, but I'll set that aside. Um, why did you boycott Solo, Rich? And what do you mean Clone Wars is being brought back from the dead, Curtis? Fill me, clue me in on all the Star Wars information. All right, no numbers on the back. All right, last box coming up. Matt Appleby, yes, I am very excited about Manny Machado. Very pleased about that. And we'll open all these all up at once. Paul Hutchins asking, can I name another hot Canadian tennis player? I'm sure there are I'm sure there are plenty. Um you know. Uh Jeannie Bouchard. Curtis, help me out here. Curtis Curtis is Canadian. Curtis. Other hot Canadian tennis players. There, there are plenty. I hope so, Matt. I think that I think that gets the Dodgers there, the Machado move. Maybe add some bullpen help. Oh, so the clone yeah, I like that Clone Wars cartoon. Oh, so it was canceled, and then they announced at, at San Diego Comic-Con that they were bringing it back. Good. Is the original production team bringing it back? I think they ended up doing uh, Rebels, too, Star Wars Rebels. Rich says, uh, oh, you were, did you work for Disney, Rich? What did, you, what did you do for Disney? Worked for Disney too long. They ruined everything. I think there was definitely a little bit of oversaturation uh, with Star Wars stuff. I, I know I definitely oversaturated. I was like reading the novels. I was like – or listening to them on audiobook. I was watching Clone Wars and then watching Star Wars Rebels and then I was just blah, blah, blah. And then there was just like, oh, they're going to do a Solo movie. They're going to do a Boba Fett movie. They're going to do an Obi-Wan Kenobi movie. There's going to be this. There's going to be that. Last Jedi. Blah, blah, blah. blah. And that's how I felt. And then last year I was kind of let down. Rex saying Ian Happ is proving himself. How do you mean? I think doesn't he have like twenty home runs already? Already proven himself, I would think. Paul Hutchings, Paul Hutchings with a Jim Rome reference. Jim Rome smack off tomorrow. I think I uh, wonder if uh, Terrence from Sierra Madre will call in. Oh, I see you. Rich was a chef slash dinner party manager for the uh, for the executives there. Yeah, too much sometimes for Disney. Rogue One is actually it is a great movie. Steve Simeone, comedian. For the other spot, Jeremy Merle.
<laughs> Rich went went to work and just came home hating every second. Did even Pixar stuff, Rich? And there's a nice 2 out of 10 Verlander in that cloth right there for the Astros. That's a nice look. Bulldog fan with the Houston Astros. Nice, Will. Oh, boy. Oh, that'll do it. Rich says the ex-wife made him go to the parks on his day off with the, with the family passes. And so you just you just got, got over-Disneyed. That happened when I got a, got a season pass one year. Which is, which is what we do here in Southern California. It? It's just too much. I haven't been in years. All right, and there's Kinsler, piece of his lumber. That's also for the angel. That goes to Patrick K. Yes, Bill. Yeah, when you live near Disneyland, do you go all – yes, you do. I think um, in Orange County, even more so. If you live down there, a lot of people just go – Get they get the season pass. You just run in, ride a couple rides, and then leave. Cal Ripken Jr. for the Orioles. Nice. Looking very stately there. That goes to Jordan Hope and the O's. Nice box topper. That's right, Curtis. Go to Disney, drink fancy water, and complain. I know. Life's rough for me. Chris Bryant. There he is. Don't forget our terrible weather, Curtis. Shohei Otani, nice. Nice box topper here. Oh, going helmetless for the photo. Okay. That goes to the Angels. That'll be for Patrick K. And last but not least is Clayton Kershaw. There he is. He's got a nice smile on his face. Kersh for the Dodgers. And that'll go to Dan Maddox, last spot mojo, box topper. There you go, folks. Another four box Break is already in the store, jazbeeshobbyland.com. Check it out, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.